Hello everyone and thank you for joining me in today's video. We're going to talk about the new Pacific Drive update that came out yesterday, I think. So what is new? I will show you everything what is new. I just uh, loaded my old account where I have everything unlocked from before. So now let's head straight to the fabrication station, right? And all what is new here, guys, is just... Uh, it's just this Varkas Auto Fuck Vak, right? So 0 0.5 stable energy. And if I install now this... So this guy, the only thing it's gonna change is that now when you use it, it's first gonna fill up the small trunk, you know what I mean, this guy here. And if you lost something somewhere in the shop, it will first add it there and then it will spit out this guy. And all the resources, if it's more, it's gonna stay there inside of this. So let's try and use it now just to show you. So the same thing as before. Just now it's spitting this guy and with all the resources, now you see I missed somewhere disc and all the shit. And actually, yeah, two side batteries. Because I was doing now this setup to show you all the others, all the, all the other things, guys. So then the next upgrade, that is okay, but again, it's just uh, cosmetic, you know what I mean. They added the option that we can color the headlights and any kind of lights, floodlets, roof floodlets or whatever. So that's why I grabbed uh, these four floodlets, the roof floodlets also, and... Uh, I grabbed a few paints so just to show you that. That's uh, okay upgrade, but again, it's just a visual upgrade, you know what I mean. So it's not much of a content upgrade. So the only actual content upgrade is this one, guys. So here they added this uh, new, like, ability, you know what I mean. Oh yeah, but I didn't unlock, I didn't unlock it, so... So the first one was this Vargas Autovac, right? So what is left now here? Oh, now, yeah, now the second one is this, the smart, the smart matter deconstructor, right? So again, 0 0.5 stable. And again, this, only what this thing does now, it's gonna upgrade this guy. And the only change now, guys, is that you can now throw items from far away into that shit, and it, it will immediately start spitting out, and it will work faster than it worked before, you know what I mean? So again, it's not much of an upgrade, you know what I mean, they didn't do actually anything much here. So again, useless one, you know what I mean, is this one, so if I now want to, let's say, I don't know, throw this away, right? So I can do this now, right from here, just do that, and this guy will just take it immediately, start spitting, and it's now much faster, you see, it's finished almost, it's finished almost immediately. And that's another upgrade, that's the second upgrade, guys, you know what I mean, so first one is spitting all the lights, the second one is improved matter generator, and now the most important thing, again I didn't unlock it, fucking idiot, so the last thing here, now I don't know why this is actually yellow because I finished all this, but it doesn't matter, the last upgrade is actually this guys, they added it here, so it's called Juke Jet, and uh, I will now just unlock it, and then I will buy a few, just then we will go with all this. I will just show you how it works, and then we will color a bit all the lights, floodlets and shit to show you how that works. And that's gonna be it from this Pacific Drive updates, new update video, you know what I mean. And yeah, all I can say is that I don't like too much all of this, because they actually didn't do much, you know what I mean. They just added a few decorative items, and they added this, let's just buy this, it's called Duke Jet, right? Again, lots of power, same as the Iron Shield. 0 0.10 per second, right? So you can press it or you can hold it. And now I will buy four of them, because... You probably saw the video, right? I mean, in the trailer, how they use it to actually dodge... Dodge uh, shit on the road. And to, uh, to be able to do that, you need to install one on one side and one on the another side. And then you need to use two ability panel slots, guys for that to be able to work, you know what I mean? And that's why I don't like this at all. And then if you add more, if you add four, then car will just, I mean, I will just take now all of this, just grab it us and I will go on one junction. Just do all this, you know what I mean? So now, yeah, let's just grab four of them. I have all the floodlets and everything else. And I will now just go to any junction, you know what I mean, the first one there, and I will just test all of this, I will show you everything, guys, all of this juke jet crap, you know what I mean, I actually don't like that upgrade at all, so I added here the nitro boost, 
I added here the chrono dilator for slowing time because when you use these jukes, you can use them this to slow time and then dodge and shit like that. And I added the X, X large jerk battery and everything else is, else is high capacity batteries, guys. So now when I go here, look to ability panel and it's not full, but I have now 222 battery power, I think. So that's gonna be enough for all this. I don't wanna exploit the game settings. I just gonna play like always, so you can see how everything will drain power significantly. So any of these upgrades are actually doing nothing and they are not good for normal gameplay, you know what I mean? Neither boost is okay from these ones, but again, so it's hold 1.5 per second, you know what I mean? All of these are gonna use the battery so much, guys, that it's gonna be impossible. Then the chrono dilator, 1.25 per second. And now here I will add on one side first one of these and then two of them on both sides. And then you will see how that shit actually works, right? So now I think all is good actually. I have everything with me. So we will just go on any junction here. And uh, so I can just drive, you know what I mean, and use that shit and show you how the new upgrade shit works. So I'm not happy with this upgrade, guys, at all. So now here I will just go E6, heavy fog, and here. Here is actually nothing, no junction conditions, so let's go on E5. Okay, we are on JCT E5, guys, train station. So now I will just first add these guys, right? So two of them, one on each side. And then, uh, yeah, let's throw all this shit away, actually. That they accidentally brought up with me from the garage. So one here and uh, another one there. So what the fuck now? Okay, and another one here. Now you will see what this do what this is doing when you have only two, one on each side, right? So you can dodge now left and right, but first we need to add them on the ability panel. So now here one juke jet, so not assign all, but replace current ability. And then on F find another empty one, so here this one is assigned to shift and this one is now gonna be assigned to F. And now I have both of them on each side, so now you see when I go slow like this, if I press F I'm gonna jump here, if I press shift I'm gonna jump back, right? And uh, that's the main thing, I mean the basic thing that you can do, so left and then right. Now I just wanna go somewhere where it's more clear, not just the road, to show you something else. Come on buddy, so let's say yeah, it's not good, guys. Now you see, if you press both of them, it will actually jump, uh, car will jump a bit, but not as a jumping jacks, so you can't uh, actually, you can't jump over anything. You see how it's slow, you know what I mean? Now if I stop and press both of them, the car is just fucking jumping in the air, you know what I mean? But now the next thing, if you are, if you are in the place like this, and you press the button and hold it, they, the force will just pull the car, you know what I mean, onto that side. If you press the other one and hold it, it will just be pulled on another side. And how, when I'm driving like this, let's say, and I want to, I don't know, fucking avoid whatever. Oh my god, man. Yeah, because of a small cooldown, and now I forget that I have this guy also, but... Uh, now you see what I mean guys, this upgrade is actually terrible because it's good on paper but in real life it's not, I mean when you drive like this so you don't, so you can't put only one, you know what I mean on one ability slot because then you need to choose, do you want to just uh, jump left or you want to jump right, you know what I mean do you want to be, do you want your car to be pulled just uh, left like this or just right and if you want to use them like this to have both sides, you need to install them on two panels, so that's that's unacceptable, you know what I mean, guys. So you want to use this for two much more upgrades and not this fucking shit, you know what I mean. So this upgrade is actually terrible, you know what I mean. So if you now, let's say, there is nothing, like, good here, no straights, uh, like, big open area. Because if I now, let's say, I'm going straight, turn left, and then holding the F, right, it will pull you in that direction and then if I release this, you can turn on, you can turn 360 almost like this, you know what I mean? Now if I go left, do the shift one again, then just release it and the car will immediately turn almost the full turn. That's another use of these guys, you know what I mean? So now this and turning, then just release it 
And if you have the handbrake, then you can do full 360, you know what I mean? So just then release, but it's actually very, very stupid upgrade, guys. You know what I mean, this. So now let's stop and add the other two, right? Because this two one is now using so much power, 0, 10 per second, when you activate this one, and if you press and hold, it's just gonna drain your battery so much that you just don't want that, guys. You know what I mean? You don't want that, especially you don't want to use <laughs> four of them like this because now you can actually jump more than you would with the jumping jacks right but uh, look at this now if I now stop and press there it will pull me like significantly more you know what I mean if I press both of them in the same time but what is wrong now oh no I didn't add them sorry guys now we need to add them here so find the empty one click and now add ability you know what I mean? So we are adding the, the other one to the old one. Now again the empty one, add ability and now they are powered up like double. So now you see how much I'm actually jumping with this one, right? But this is now too much because when you press this, oh, I didn't press both of them at the same time, but let's say this house, right? Okay, I thought it's gonna jump more. Let me see something. No, I'm just trying this shit a bit, but uh, it's not. No, you see with this, like jumping jacks and shit. But again, not not a good update, guys. It uses so much power, so I already drained like 150 battery power, you know what I mean? So, Oh yeah, fuck. <laughs> again, I didn't press both of them, but I'll try now to do this, so with the Chrono Dilator. So watch this now, if I manage to press everything good, fucking hell man, <laughs> so I didn't, because it's actually very shitty to also control all this, if you add things like this and both of them on this, oh my god man, right, <laughs> but I don't like it, especially when it's two of them, I mean look, I parked in the go, so now just remove yourself from there buddy. Let me see, can I score another goal with the car? Now going to the left and... Oh, fuck, the wrong button, man. Let's go back. I want to do this. And yeah, almost 1-0 for me. <laughs> but now you see this upgrade. I mean, it's good for having fun like this, but you will drain battery quickly. The car will be damaged now. It's not so much because I have Olympium, but... Uh, now it's finally cleared, so let me see, can I now jump over this, oh, it's really hard to actually remember what to press and all the shit, so let me see now, come on buddy, and okay, with Chrono Dilator you can always then avoid all the shit, you know what I mean, but it's hard to use all this, the draining battery so much, it's better to use jumping jacks if you want to jump around, you know what I mean, it's much better than this shit. So this is only good, let's say, if you use only two. And then, uh, so let's just throw two away. So if you just use two, guys, now I need to fucking add them again, oh my god. Just place and uh, empty one. What the fuck? So yeah, okay, now it's only good maybe like this, because then you can move all this, you can use it like that, just to avoid things on the road, you know what I mean, but again, I wouldn't use them because you need to use two slots if you want to dodge and left and right, use so much battery power, if you put just one, then you can dodge just on that side, you know what I mean, so if you want to use it properly, you need to use it like this, you then need to use both ability, two ability panels and uh, the upgrade is actually shit guys, so that's the best upgrade on the upgrade for the car and I don't like it. And in total we have four upgrades, so two of them are just station upgrades, you know what I mean? This matter regenerator and the other shit, so not much of an upgrade there. And now let's call up the lights guys, so yeah, just wanna do that now because you saw now how, that, how this shit works. 
I didn't use Conan the Elector too much because I didn't use it in the game actually at all almost. I just used it a few times for testing and for making a video about it, but uh, oh no. <laughs> yeah, now I lost that part because of the storm. <coughs> but it doesn't matter again, so now just let's add all the flood, let's... And okay, I have three because I throw one <laughs> in the matter deconstructor, so come on buddy. Yeah, let's just throw this shit also. And now the third throat let's here. And now, now look at these guys, so the lights can stay on like this, it doesn't matter. And if I now choose, let's choose the red paint, right, the burnt orange paint, okay? If I now start to color this, they will change color and they will just shine like that now, you know what I mean? And then uh, if, I, if I pick another color, I don't know, something like contrast, let's say blue, and add to this one, then they will just light with that color. Now you see this like orange light, but now it's not fucking night, but it doesn't matter. And then with the government white, with the government yellow, I will do this one, you know what I mean? Then with uh, purple one, pink one, I will do this one. And now again, this is all nice, but it's just a decorative object, guys, you know what I mean? But for this, you need to use the ability pants again for this guy. Also, you know what I mean? So just for the lights, actually, it's good to use this paint. And if you use any of these, you can color them how you like. And now, now you see, but now it's not so dark, it's not so good here. But uh, now I need to add here, like, roof floodlights, and then add here the side floodlights. But they're not... Okay, I will assign all just to show you now, but you can assign each floodlight again. If you add four of them, you can assign each one on each different panel, and then turn them on and off. Uh, separately, but now I actually well, I get out of the car. Yeah, to charge the battery because <laughs> now it will be draining. I, I I then can't show you this, so let's just use one fucking plasma charger here now. Sorry about this. So now you see 225 power. So half of this <laughs> one plasma charger is done, but we don't need any more actually. So now I want some night or something, then uh, fuck it, it's gonna be day. But now you see this is orange lights, if I turn the flood, if I turn this, and uh, if I turn this one, so now look at this shit. So now they mixed like blue and orange lights, here is these ones, you know what I mean, pink light. And then you can do whatever you want with the lights like this. And that's a nice upgrade, but it's only decorative again, you know what I mean. So one decorative upgrade that is okay. Then we have two station upgrades that is actually not okay because they are doing nothing much more to improve anything. It's just fucking nothing again. And then this upgrade that should be the best <laughs> is actually the worst for me, you know what I mean. I mean, it's, it have its usability, but uh, I think nobody will use it only just for fun, maybe. But for drill gameplay, when you're gonna play the story, when you start playing the game, you will not unlock this fucking shit, you know what I mean. So all in all, Four upgrades in total. I don't like any of them, only these lights maybe just the decorative. And they added the paid one of course. So again the decals and shit to just paint the car, you know what I mean? So all the upgrades after a few months of waiting guys is not great. And I don't like almost any of them. I was expecting much more and something different. But it is how it is. So with this I'm gonna end the video now guys because there is nothing much else to show you, you know what I mean. And I don't like the upgrades, I don't like almost anything, just the lights, so... But fuck it, we will hope for the best in the future. But for now, that will be it from this small video about the updates, guys. Thank you for watching, and if you like what you see, please consider liking, subscribing, and commenting. And join me in another Pacific Drive video. Until then, see you all, and bye. And let me know in the comments what you think about all these upgrades. And uh, what you think overall, you know what I mean, what's the best habit for you? Did you use this jumping guy shit, you know what I mean, this juke jet? <coughs> I wanna know all that. So let me know in the comments what you think about all this. And until the next video, see you all guys and bye.